going on guys 10:45 right now monday uh chest and shoulder day i'm going to do an am and a pm workout and walk you guys through it woke up already did my fasted cardio steady pace 30 minutes and uh ate breakfast now i'm going to go head to the gym work out eat three meals go back to the gym about six seven hours later finish off with my shoulders i got a uh, chest today it's time to party by the way I got chest in the morning, which will be five pressing or four pressing exercises with one isolated movement at the end, uh, five working sets of each exercise. And then when I go back to the gym tomorrow or tonight, uh, about seven hours later, I got my shoulder accessory movements, five to six shoulder accessory movements with five sets ranging from 10 to 12 reps, high volume day to day. All right, so here's the start of my AM chest workout. Uh, four pressing exercises starting out with the bench press then after this I move on to the incline dumbbell then I move on to the decline dumbbell and then hammer strength isolated press and then I do one isolated chest fly on the incline cable cross and right now I'm just warming up hitting 20 reps with 135 the sets and reps for this workout are five sets five working sets so the sets you're watching right now do not count towards my actual uh, working sets. These are just warm-ups. And rep range is from 10 to 12 reps. I'm trying to shoot for 12 on everything just to keep it a little bit higher rep. So I'm keeping the weights a little bit lighter, as you'll see. And uh, as you see also, my bench pressing style has changed quite a bit compared to my powerlifting bench press style. My arch in my back is not even there anymore. I kind of just do like a flat back bench. I am touching about two to three inches higher than I typically would on my powerlifting where I tuck my elbows and pull my elbows down into my lats. And the first couple inches of the movement would be my lats on my powerlifting bench press. But now I'm keeping my elbows out, I'm touching higher on my chest. And doing that, I'm just, obviously, I'm trying to develop my chest on this exercise. I'm not worried about the weight. That's the thing is people always stick and get caught up into moving as much weight as possible. And they're not actually effectively training the muscle. I mean, if you're tucking your elbows and keeping a tight arch in your bench, popping with your leg drive at the bottom, I mean, you're not training your chest. You're not training the muscle. You're training the lift. I mean, there's a difference in powerlifting and bench press, or powerlifting bench press and a bodybuilding bench press. Right now, I'm training the muscle, so I'm gonna make the make the lift more difficult. I'm gonna stretch my chest fibers more, so I can get more development in my chest and not have to worry about strengthening my triceps and my lats and all that good stuff for the powerlifting style. I mean, I'll transition back once I start powerlifting. I'll tuck my elbows more. I'll tight keep a tighter arch and uh, use my leg drive more, but now for now I'm just gonna do a flat-footed bench press, slide arch to keep a nice tight develop or tight core, keep my elbows out and stretch that chest as much as possible and contract the entire time. That's the thing is you need to, if, when, when you make, or if you ever transition from powerlifting bodybuilding, that's the first thing that you need to do is fix your bench press style. Most likely if you're correctly benching as a power lifter it will not develop your chest as much as it will doing a bodybuilding style bench press keeping your elbows out touching higher on your chest less arch and no leg drive all right so moved over onto the incline dumbbell one thing that i am definitely lagging in is upper chest development see right now I'm two weeks out and four weeks out, well a little bit less than two weeks out and a little bit less than four weeks out. And it really, right now the growth is not going to be there so all I can do is just fine tune and uh, or fine tune and take all the fat off the muscle that I have right now but I really do need to develop a higher upper chest if I really want to get effective in bodybuilding. I got a lower chest from tucking my back and using my lower chest and having a tight arch from powerlifting but my upper chest is not developed as much as it needs to be and that's one thing that I'm trying to target right here is effectively moving the weight and with that being said always incorporate incline bench pressing to your powerlifting also 
that's something that I will be doing when I transition back and I would teach and tell and coach for anybody that I do powerlifting coaching for. All right, next is, uh, you see this little setup I have here for the decline? If you train by yourself, which I do 95% of the time, this is perfect for decline pressing. Just get a flat bench, put it underneath the decline press. I put towels down just because the, the, the Allen head side of the dumbbell will cut into the bench press, but you just able to get a full stretch the bottom of this press squeeze as you see I'm not pressing over my face I'm kind of keeping it so that it's uh, pushing on my lower lower chest right now and getting a full stretch on my upper chest and then I press down and get a full contraction see as I just pop those down nice effective way so then you don't have to throw the dumbbells on the floor and you can just pick them up right off the bench press so then you don't have to worry about torquing your shoulders when you kind of swing your leg over all right five sets here I did five sets of, let's see, with the 60s, I think this is like the third set or something. I didn't get all the videotaping inside, just because you guys don't want to see a shit ton of pressing, just one after another. Decline presses are something that's new to me. I've been only doing them since the bodybuilding prep. I never did them during powerlifting, but they're a good exercise. I really like them, and they have actually helped strengthen my chest in a weak points that I needed. Uh, Rod up. All right, isolated hammer strength pressing. This is a great movement for full chest development, give you that full chest plate, a solid pump at the end of the workout, a great finisher on your pressing. It just contraction, you can full, full stretch, full squeeze at the top, and that's a great exercise. I love that machine. Here is uh, the incline cable cross seated and this is a new movement for me that I incorporated about three weeks ago and I do not get a better stretch and a better pump off any other exercise this is the one that I really feel on my chest that's why I always finish with this I get the biggest pump at the end the most blood flow and I will definitely be adding this into my powerlifting to prevent injury and to keep my chest strong so that my front delts do not get damaged. This is a great way or a great exercise for powerlifters and bodybuilders. So that was my full AM chest workout and I'll have a in the description box below I'll have a full workout logs every set every rep every weight that I used and then you guys can see exactly what I did. In this video, I just kind of went over the top sets and just kind of went over how I effectively move and do the exercises. I'm going to have a video. I'll post this video up, and then I'll post the shoulder workout later tonight. I'm going to get some meals in right now. And uh, if you guys, anything that you guys want me to cover, comment in the description box below. I'm going to be doing this vlog from all the way to going into my shows, then after my shows. After November 2nd, I'm going to transition back into powerlifting. So I'm going to do this vlog, post a couple videos every week, keep you guys updated, keep you guys informed, and anything that you guys want me to go over, comment in the description box below. I repeat it. All right, guys, talk to you later.